I'm a bit of a futurist. My pages are heavily visual, which I feel reflects our culture. Everyone's glued to their phone. Maybe that will turn into something incredibly great. You know, we don't know yet. There'll be negatives. What are the positives? You know, I'm a positivist. I'm about what it is and not what it's not. And let's embrace what it is. Let me introduce you to my book, Doc and Doc, Documentado Undocumented. It exists in this case with sound and light. And when I open, you'll hear our introductory soundscape. Book artists are interested in drawing the reader into a story, into a narrative, into an experience that is contained within those covers. And it says, open the book, unfold the pages, scan the images, search through the iconographies, decipher the hidden texts. An artist's book is a hybrid work of art that includes often letterpress printing, literary content, fine art prints, photographs, or any kind of images. It is a work of art that must be handled to be experienced. And after you have had a chance to explore this long accordion with 15 spreads, these are my own images, I can put the book aside and reveal underneath a cabinet of curiosities. Doc on Doc is not for traditionalists necessarily, but it represents, especially in Felicia's work, it represents a kind of evolution of the artist's book. Thank you for coming this afternoon. And it has this fabulous performative aspect. Performative. Adding the performance challenges our expectations of what a book can be. What is it exactly? A performative artist's book? An artist's book for performing oneself? Y muchas otras cosas. The integration of performance in the form of a book, and yet call that performance and not simply a book. I'm learning about what that means. Touch everything slowly. But I do think that the concept gives me a lot larger stage to move on than simply the book is on the shelf, the book is off the shelf. What sent things off in this direction was my working closely with Guillermo Gomez Pena, the performance artist. Gomez Pena's scripts are certainly challenging in your face. They speak out. They're saying, come out on stage, be a performance artist yourself, speak for yourself, talk about these issues that are confronting us. His scripts became the text for the pages. And the scripts look very much like poems, and I've been working with poetry for over 40 years. I have a collection of beautiful fonts from the early 20th century, and they create an incredibly elegant page. Much white space, plenty of room to breathe and reflect on the content, the word that's sitting there pristine in its own wordness. I was just so ready to see that page start to change, to move, to jump up and down, for the word to assert itself. I was fighting every bit of training I had, and it, it was so hard as I went forward with type that went off at an angle or wrapped around something or whatever. At some point, I just had to break the bonds to expand into a far more visual page and a far more visual treatment of type in an experimental, playful way. Play, fun, energy, life, you know, that, those are things that I really wanted to bring to my work. This was just something so different and unconventional. Mm -hmm. I remember cutting this out and jamming this type that was broken mm -hmm. or not usable, and this was the outcome. The idea of this was to just use letters or type to um, connote speech. Felicia really wanted to push using the text as a form of imagery instead of something that you can actually read and branch out on the idea of a book 
in terms of incorporating video, performance, audio, and incorporating the box. In the world of book arts, it is very structured. There are many rules, but Felicia truly shows what it's like to start in this traditional sense and become your own person as an artist. I was 19 when I made a personal commitment to exploring letterpress printing and the book arts. I was exposed to Jack Stauffacher and his sense of what the book and the word meant in the history of civilization. And then William Everson, who had been a Dominican brother and a hand press printer. I had been exposed to these people, but it wasn't by accident. I had sought out these people who were making books and what was that about and printing. And I wanted to know everything about printing, absolutely everything, all aspects. I became an offset printer and worked in a job shop and ran a press, chemicals, loud all day long. And so I have one foot firmly in the 19th century, letterpress printing, its traditions, its tools. And one foot firmly in the 21st century, the digital age, with new tools and new ways of thinking. The computer makes it possible to scan the drawings. I can manipulate the scans on screen and then make my own laser printed negatives and take them to the photopolymer plate maker that I have in my studio and make plates. I call it my easy bake oven. These are so incredibly wonderful because there's so much versatility. It can be quickly made, remade, resized, slapped on the press, printed in whatever color you choose. And if I'm not happy with that, go back and make a change and make another one. Boom, boom, boom. I'm working on a book called Border Bus by Juan Felipe Herrera. Juan Felipe was the US Poet Laureate for the last couple of years. The idea is that this is a living poem and they're at living people and they're talking to one another about the experience of traveling to the US and why and now they've been picked up by ice and they're on an ice bus whispering to one another. ¿A dónde vamos? Where are we going? Speak in English or the guard is going to come. ¿A dónde vamos? Where are we going? Speak in English or the guard is going to get us, hermana. This has been through the press several times already. Two times for the yellow, two times for the thumbprint, two times for the um, photo image, two times for the um, green drawing, and now I'll be working back into it several times more and another for the type itself. There's a different font for each woman's voice and they move on the page instead of just simply being in lines, the idea being that they're whispering to each other and it's this different kind, it's a different quality of speech. Tantos días y ni sabíamos para dónde íbamos. So many days and we didn't even know where we were headed. I know where we're going, I know. working with the Chicano Chicana literary community. Uh, it's been a great editorial focus. This is a community that I've been working with since the early 90s, and I feel very strongly that the issues continue to be extremely relevant and important. When Felicia started doing her series with Latino artists, I think her work took on another dimension. She has extended, as good artists do, her capabilities, she has done something really far-reaching and experimental. I am trying to break new ground, but in the process of doing that for myself, I hope I'm giving voice or representing something for others. Really breaking new ground is just about inspiring artists who are coming up behind you, right? The ones who are ahead of you are already doing their work or have done it, and the ones that are coming up are the ones that might look to your things and think, I want to do something like that. I could build on that. And if others want to come and build on what I've done, that would be a measure of success. <laughs>